James will come to you first this time. Jaguar Blade Triumph debut. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, it's an incredible feeling, mate. Um, it's something that I've I've always dreamed of, and as a young lad, to to growing up watching a lot of rugby, watching England play, it's something that um, me and my family are something that we'll be incredibly pl proud of, and a memory forever, really. What was it like doing it in, in an empty stadium? I mean, how have you managed to get around that and share the, the moments with your family, etc.? Yeah, we've it's obviously slightly different. We've got used to used to it in some ways with the Premiership games that we've had. Um, but it, it's a massive shame. Uh, but equally, it, it gives you an extra drive to stay stay in the mix and and hopefully work towards another opportunity one day that my family can be here. Um, I gave my missus and 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 my parents a uh, FaceTime after the game. Um, and it's just yeah, it's a strange strange um, and slightly different to how you sort of dream of it, but. Grateful nonetheless for this opportunity, and I loved every second out there. You were close a couple of years ago when you selected that tour of South Africa, a, a big setback with that injury. Did you ever doubt that you would come back? Did you think maybe this might not happen? Yeah, look, those those things go through your mind, especially when it gets pretty dark and tough um, during during the rehab. But just got to keep plugging away day to day, small goals, and and work work your way back to it, and and. Uh, been really lucky to have the special group that we have at the club at WAS and, and now been, been lucky enough to get this chance as well and um, really grateful and, and loved it. And finally for me, there's a hell of a competition in the back row with England at the moment. Um, do you feel like you've put your hand up today and what can you do uh, to break in, I guess, with, with Curry, Underhill, Earl and so on? Yeah, th those guys are, are fantastic players, um, and I've loved loved training with them the last couple of weeks. Trying to learn off off them, and and everyone's got their different strengths, and trying to play off that and and see what you can you can pick from them um, in those sessions, and doing doing extras and extra bits and bobs. Um, for me, I've I've just got to keep my head down and keep working hard. Um, hopefully, another opportunity comes like it did today, and and I've just got to try and impress every time it does um, in training around the training ground and on the pitch um, and hopefully I can get another chance. Thanks. Russell, we'll come to you now, please. Jack, congratulations. Um, Thank how you. sweet was it? And how did you feel getting that try on your day as well? <laughs> Yeah, love, loved it, mate. Um, yeah, buzzing to, to get over as well. Very grateful to Joe Launchbury for shoving me over. He's been doing it at the club as well. So <laughs> I'll make sure I give a mention. He's uh, he's always there to shove me over. And uh, yeah, it's just yeah, an honour to, to score a try on, on debut as well. And just coming into this England camp in recent times, how important have the likes of Joe been as kind of senior players who I'm sure have had your back to, to help you really hopefully give them your best in a, in a white shirt? Yeah, there's there's quite a few familiar faces in camp, but having having the WAS lads around has has been great. And as you say, someone like Launch, who's got sixty old caps for for England now, and he's got masses of experience. And I, I do turn to him a lot for advice. And um, he's been he's it's been nice to have his sort of arm around me this week, if you like, and be under his wing. Um, he's he's a top bloke with uh, always top advice as well. And without dwelling on, on the injuries that you mentioned with James before, do you almost feel you're kind of a, a more rounded person, maybe even perhaps a, a better player for, for what you've been through and, and slightly richer for those experiences now that this chance has come? Yeah, it makes it even more special to, to get here now. Not that it wouldn't have been special a couple of years ago, um, but... I know how much hard work's gone in over the last couple of years from from myself, from my family, um, from the the physio team at WAS, the SNC team, um, to get me back back out playing, and and it's yeah, it's been 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 a, a dream that I've I've had for a while, um, but it's just made today even more special. And just finally, with Ireland in mind and the rest of this championship to come, first of all, now you've had this taste. Fingers crossed you can get more because there are some great games to hopefully come, aren't there, over the course of the next three weeks? Yeah, it's a really exciting block of games for for the group. Um, every, every single player in that changing room and, and in the training ground wants to be involved. And that's what's so, so special about this team. Uh, a lot of lads that are competing hard, pushing each other. And and yeah, we'll see how the next couple of days of training goes and, and see if I get another opportunity. But if yeah, if I do, I'll be, be looking forward to it.
thank you, Jack. Well done.